guys, it's your creative, and I am here in my little Harry Potter closet, ready to do another video for you. So today we're going to go over how the Gothic Bridals photo shoot went, so let's get started. So this shoot turned out amazing. I couldn't have asked for better results. Um, all of the models were incredible. Um, the props were amazing. The gowns were gorgeous, and I have so much of it to put all of that credit really towards Vander Rose gowns. Um, she was the sponsor for this shoot. She provided all of the props, all of the dresses, all of the accessories, everything. I just came and told people what to do. <laughs> it was perfect and I couldn't have asked for, like I said, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, having a sponsor like her was really incredible and I hope that as people see more and more of the content from this shoot that it does wonders for her business. So I tell you guys every single time that I'm going to get more content for you to see instead of having to listen to me talk and look at my face. Um, and of course every time I get to a shoot I am so busy that I don't get any videos made. Uh, so I did get some, um, but the shoot was extremely busy, very, very tight on time. And so I only got a few behind the scenes videos um, and pictures for you. But the next coming shoot, I made sure that Felicia is gonna be there and she is going to take some photos and videos behind the scenes. So I promise you will have amazing behind the scenes content on our next shoot, which I can't wait to tell you more about. Okay, so things that I learned from this shoot. Um, obviously every single shoot I learned new um, and very beneficial information. And uh, this time around, it had to do uh, with holding my ground when it came to design. We had a very talented florist come and be a part of our photo shoot. She did three breathtaking bouquets at cost, which was an incredible sacrifice for her. So we really appreciate that. We do have some behind the scenes footage of me on my way to go pick them up. So I'll show you that. Okay, so we are on our way to go pick up the three bouquets for our gothic bridal shoot. We just picked up the wedding cake and it looks amazing. So I'll check in in a little bit and I'll show you the cake and the bouquets as soon as we get them. So as you can see, I had plans to show you the bouquets as soon as we picked them up. Um, but as soon as I saw the bouquets, I just was kind of a little surprised. Um, I guess I shouldn't have been too surprised because um, early on when I had talked to her and I read the invoice uh, for the flowers, I did see some flowers in there that I wasn't sure were going to really match the gothic theme. And unfortunately, uh, one of the bouquets did turn out to be quite different than what I was expecting. Um, and so I was so distracted after I saw the bouquets and I picked them up that I forgot to get a video of them and a picture of them um, when I was picking them up in my car. So I will say this, the bouquets were beautiful and every single one of them were modeled beautifully and they they were, they, they turned out great. Um, one of them were a little bit, um, a little bit more Halloween-y than gothic, which, um, when I say Halloween, because I know a lot of people think of like um, Halloween when they look at gothic styled stuff, um, but it was like bright orange flowers in the bouquet. Not so much that dark kind of gothic vibe <laughs> that I was looking for. It was kind of, it was more bright and, um, and colorful. And I was looking for more muted and dark and deep colors. And of course there were, <laughs> there were obviously, um, you know, parts where I could have communicated better with the florist. Also promised in one of my clips that I would show you the cake. So here is another clip of what the cake looks like up close. Okay, so this is our cake. It's all styrofoam underneath. And it looks pretty good for $50. Can't complain. So as you heard in the video, 
there is indeed styrofoam underneath that buttercream frosting. It smelled amazing and all of us wanted to eat some of it, but unfortunately it, we couldn't eat it because <laughs> there was styrofoam underneath. Uh, but the cake turned out really, really nicely. Um, it was decorated a little differently than I thought it was going to be. I thought there would be some fondant and maybe uh, sugar detailing. Um, but it was actually all hand decorated with pure, purely frosting, which really is quite incredible. Um, the cake designer is fantastic. He is actually um, the head cake designer and decorator at my local food market. Um, and he did an incredible job. Um, was it exactly what I was looking for? Not quite, but for the price that he gave me, it was a steal and it turned out great for what we needed. It was much better than trying to decorate a cake by myself because he did thousands of times better than I would have uh, decorating this cake and ma making it look like a gothic cake. So I was very pleased with it. I would probably uh, get a little bit more into the details with the cake as well. <laughs> it, that's always my problem, I guess. I don't, I don't communicate all of the details of what I'm envisioning. Um, but like I said, the cake still turned out amazing, just like the flowers still turned out amazing. Uh, the last thing that I learned at this shoot is that I need to have a very strict rotation schedule for the photographers and the models. Um, especially if I'm having multiple stations um, with multiple models and photographers. This being because at the beginning of the shoot, not a lot of people were able to make it early on. And so it was very lax. We had like two couples there and one or two photographers and we were just chilling and taking all of our sweet time. And then all of a sudden, all of our later showing up models and photographers showed up and it was go, 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 go. And it was cutthroat. We had like three minute warnings after having the, the models in front of a photographer for like two minutes. And everyone was just like going, going, going to get all of the pictures that they needed. And so I found that it was quite stressful. Um, some photographers did not get all of the images that they wanted to. Um, and I didn't, I didn't have a chance to detail how how many people were going to come at what time um, just because some people were coming from work and they got off of work late um, and so it, there were just a number of reasons that uh, <laughs> crunch time hit and it hit hard so um, my upcoming shoot for my Christmas shoot I am gonna have several stations I am gonna have several photographers um, several models. There's going to be two different sessions. So the models are going to switch after one session and so are the photographers. So it's going to be a lot. And I want to make sure that every single photographer gets a picture with every single model at every single station. And I have come up with the perfect formula to do so. So I'll be excited to share that with you when I do a update on my Christmas photo shoot. Now that I've shared all the things that I've learned from this photo shoot, I would love to show you all the results. These models and photographers worked hard to make sure that everything turned out perfectly. My dress vendor, Vander Rose Gowns, um, she was absolutely incredible at making sure that all the models were dressed perfectly, um, accessorized correctly, and that they had everything that they needed to look gorgeous. And um, I can't thank all of the people that were a part of this shoot enough. It got cold really fast as soon as the sun went down, which I mean, you know, it's fall going into winter. It got cold really fast. <laughs> so we had some freezing models in those dresses. So uh, lots of appreciation going out to all of our photographers and models who froze their little toes off to get these amazing photos. Hope you guys enjoy.
There's just nothing more satisfying than seeing all of the results of your hard work. I love it. I love it so much. And every time I look at them, I go, huzzah, because we did it and it turned out amazing. And I'm just so thrilled that I get to share them with you. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the results from this Gothic bridal shoot. I really enjoyed doing this shoot and as always, I learned a bunch of new things that I am excited to implement in my next shoot, which um, I have two in the works right now. Um, the next shoot is sweet and it's going to be quite fun. I cannot wait. Um, I'm currently working on the headpiece right now. I've fallen in love with making headpieces um, and I probably spend most of my money on those. <laughs> uh, but this headpiece, um, is made completely of candy. Yes, it is going to be a sweets and candy photo shoot and it is going to be amazing. Uh, I have some incredible um, photographers and models lined up for this and I cannot wait to share the results with you. Like I said, I have Felicia coming to do some behind the scenes footage for you guys so you can get a nice sneak peek into what went into this shoot and how it went. I also have some photos of the crown being made, um, the candy crown, uh, so you guys can see how all of that came together. So hopefully I'll get to share that with you guys really soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me here and I hope that you guys like this video. So please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.